creations, mighty ones, the stalwart boulders, cliffs, poplars, birch, and pine, anchoring firm, eroded slowly over seasons past, relentlessly battered by wind, ice, snow, and waves. Knowing that someone would help and knowing that you would be even open to planning something different. That's, that's what that means. That's what reconciliation means to me. Knowing that someone would listen. Amidst creation's transforming ones, the warped and wriggling overgrown nymphs, as if willing each other on, patiently the exoskeleton shed damp wings unfurl, translucent bl blue, green. Ah, the mesmerizing dragonfly. For me, reconciliation would be that my children, my grandchildren, seven generations into the future, have a place that they can call home, they can speak their own language that was given to them, and that they can dress and talk and be who they want to be in this land. Amidst creations, organizing ones, traveling in packs, denning in secret, the wolves, cooperating for food, reproduction, and raising of young, chased, hunted, poisoned, revered in myth and present day. So much of the inequities across the world are based on economic mm -hmm. um, power. And uh, a few cultures have way too much power and are way too much control of ec economics and resources in land and water. A miscreation's minuscule ones. The great green algae hangs suspended in cold water, providing nutrients for minnows, ducks, and snails, bobbing in goblets, mistaken for batches of frog eggs. Amidst creation's tenacious ones, the gangly spiders spin, drift and weave, creating springy designs and patterns unique ever-present under leaves, between twigs, amidst swaying grasses. I think reconciliation means feeling, feelings of inclusion for everyone, feelings of um, belonging to a human family. Amidst creation's graceful ones, the camouflaged stick-like blue heron points its elongated neck and bills skyward without notice. The prehistoric ballet dancer takes to the air, neck folded in flight. The world we live in now is not the world that I want it to be in the future.
Admit creations, curious ones. Must leak and agile bodies undiluted. Rhythmically has the water parts. This way, that way, taunting us with hide and seek. The otter heads periscope up, blinking, snorting, then off to play. Amidst creation, paradoxical one, lumbering and docile, quick and powerful cinnamon, brown or black, the bear, shy yet aggressive, opportunist and determined. Coming together as, as humans on the, on the earth, and that means reconciling our relationship with the earth and its natural systems as well. Um, I think that's a big part of the necessary reconciliation that is happening in this, on the planet. Its creations, furtive ones, the slinky brown body of the mink, dark eyes sparkling, dark along pebbled shoreline, momentarily in view, stealthily slips under, surfacing adeptly, fish clenched. Amidst creation's misunderstood ones, the lonely, shimmering wolverine, elusive in sound, sight, or trail, traverses great territorial expanses of mountain, tundra, and forest, determined to survive. But, but we're all of the same community, the common one. slosh through marsh and drifts of snow, the misshapen moose jogs through forest, maneuvering impressive rack and body huge. seven generations down the road. So, you know, for that, that's a long vision. That, that for me, that's any decision that we make is one step closer to seeing that vision fulfilled. And whatever we do, whatever I do, I hope to see that for my children, my grandchildren, and their great Amidst creation's temporary ones, the two-leggeds evolved in recent times. They too needing air, water, sunlight, food, shelter, and each other. Will they honor life and spirit of all? Amidst creation's multitude? 